now all over the country, ITT Technical Institute campuses, they're shutting down permanently. This is part of the government's crackdown on for-profit colleges accused of deceptive and aggressive marketing. Adam Walzer with the ABC Action News I-Team joins us live from the Tampa campus off of Memorial Highway right now. Adam, a lot of people shocked right now about this one. That's like, that's right, Laura, about 40,000 students and thousands of faculty members, all who say they had no idea that this was coming. They were let known today that this was going to happen by email. They received this about 7 o'clock this morning, Eastern Time. It was the official announcement to students and faculty members that ITT Technical Institute would be closed. Now, the lights are out inside this building, but we've seen dozens of students coming here throughout the day looking for answers. No one is answering the phone, and the doors are all locked here at the Tampa campus, which serves about 400 students. Now, we're told a large percentage of those students here in Tampa are combat veterans who are pursuing their educations through the GI Bill. Late last month, ITT learned that the federal government would not provide loans or aid to new students due to issues regarding the school's accreditation. The new academic session was supposed to start next week, but instead of getting their schedule, students learned that the campus was going to be permanently closed today. And I accepting calls. Of course, as you can see, the doors are locked. So there's nobody that you can really reach out to from ITT at this point. Disappointing. Very disappointing, very upsetting. Now, in that email, there were some links. They will update uh, students as they know how this will proceed. Some of those loans could be for forgiven. Some students may be able to transfer to other colleges and universities. And Hillsborough Community College is hoping to attract some of those students. They're going to start a transition plan. We'll have much more about that and this abrupt closure coming up tonight at 5. Reporting live from Tampa, I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.